like when you guys are, you know, a little older, AI would probably be part of this. Am okay. I right? Like you have a thing you put over your parents' head and like, you know, it makes them look like they're happy and you can walk away <laughs> going, I think they're good. You, you could feel <laughs> like better a, about yourself. A smile, yeah. Like I was wondering like, where you were going with that. Have fun. I'll be all right. And they're laying it's, in their own filth. Yeah, we're, we're here. Let's we're go rolling. On three. We got David Tell on. David Tell is in the house. Thanks for having me. And I love the new location. Thank you. <laughs> I knew you, I knew by the, the look in your eyes as he walks through the door, I'm like, he's happy to be here. Could yeah. it get any closer to the La Quinta Inn? It <laughs> no, can't. it's not. <laughs> the La Quinta Inn. Oh, dear, dear. We talk dear. about scandal. Am I right? A lot mm. of scandal happening mm. at the La Quinta. Oh, yeah. A yes. lot of murder. A lot of murder. Uh, mm. I, was re I was watching a documentary about, a uh, docuseries about <laughs> what Times Square was like in the 70s. Just yes. the mere 70s. Hookers were, uh, sex workers were being murdered in hotels, and uh, but the the filth, the filth of Times Square, like the with the booths, with being able yes. to go. First, I've, it started at watching porn. Then it was peep shows. Peep then shows. it was touching the titties. Eventually, yes, right? they had that, and they had live sex shows as well. Right, and then all the men just became heathens, and then there was crime, and so. Well, that is a romanticizing of it, but um, <laughs> a lot of it was things? a smelly, dirty thing, but it wasn't expensive like now, you know? Yeah. This is before um, PB, Panera Bread. <laughs> I mean, sure, you could go see a sex show, but you'd have to walk miles for some bread. Right. right. So you got to take the pluses and minuses of it, you know? Panera yeah, Bread's you want a, a big green point salad, here. <laughs> You want a green salad, you're not going to get it there in Times no, Square. No, not at that mm -hmm. peep show. No, you're, sure, you're going to get a, 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 a vicious fisting. Right. But you're not going to get... A delicious uh, salad made in front of you by a grumpy person wearing a mask. That makes it taste better. I I've like never it. been fisted, though. I've never. Mm, no, I've been fisted. You have. Yeah. Yeah. That's that fun. explains that outfit. You're Thank ready you. to go. Yeah. How come we never had a fisting episode? Yeah. Uh, why not? Because you know what? Fisting is not what you think it is. It's not taking a fist. Well, it's what I thought it was. Mm. Taking a fist and punching, you know, just putting it up there. It's just this. It's just fisting is just wide fingering. Okay, yes. well, but that, but but that, but they they do have sex toys that are actually full fist. So I'm like, if it's, we're just That's talking about butthole. these four fingers, then yeah, that I that everyone's tried to do that. Yeah, yeah. But, but that's, that's not, that's, I fisting. feel like it's more, there's more. Cause Margaret Cho has gotten whole fist in. Oh. What about the wow. uh, Spock? Have you done that? <laughs> Never. <laughs> you have it. No. That's The live long and prosper. Fun. I like that. Mm. That's like, I like a nerdy and, convention. Or are you separating two fingers in each hole? Mm. Or are you getting in there like a tampon and then going, we spread your wings. Wow. Mm. I mean, we, how long have we been on the air now? 20 seconds. Right. Yeah. Right at fisting. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I mean, you, know, you from, asked for it. Yeah. I, it just, it just happened. <laughs> You're it's the one who brought improv. it up. It's called improv. Right, right. <laughs> you, were you, a, did you live in New York when Times Square was like a dirty horror yeah, place? Yeah, yeah, no, I was there in the, uh, in the mid 80s, cool. late 80s, and that's when it still was like that. And then uh, a couple of mayors ago, I believe his name was Bloomberg, said, yeah. we're going to bring in all this business. <laughs> and we were all like, ago. no, don't do it. And then everyone got used to it and they're like, it's pretty good. And now yeah. we're kind of on the other side of it where it's like filthy, dirty again, but not fun. Right. I mean, we can all agree mm -hmm. that it's filthy and dirty, but not a fun hang it's here. It's literal dirt. It's real expensive. It's sure. kind of creepy, dangerous. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, you know, it's not like it was back then, but I'm also very old. So for you guys, you're young. Do you find this exciting this, no. these times? I don't think no. you're very old, nor do I think we are young. Correct. Really? <laughs> yeah. Now we're I'd like to see your <laughs> arms as you say that. Are you self-fisting? Okay, no, good. I'm not. There you go. Are no, you fisting just, your ass? Uh, there's something in. that's sitting, I don't know. I just, my OCD ticks are really bad having to sit in the same position for a long time. Mm. So I'm just trying to make the, the sitting more interesting. I like the outfit, by the way. Thank you. It's nice. It does I wore a dress fisting. for you, Dave. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I was there when it was um, pretty, uh, pretty, I would say that it was, uh, it was the end of it, you know, like uh, almost like it was the end of the comedy boom. It was also yeah. the end of like that kind of filthy New York. And a lot of it had to do with not just that people were like, you know, hey, this is immoral. It was just like the rents went up, you know, right. all that happened they because there was like out. low cheap rent and right. like all those DVD erotica shops, mm -hmm. you know, that there's only so like a many. few left. Right. But back then it was like pretty much every every other one. And yeah. like, honestly, that was always the weird end of the night, you know, where it's like you're drunk. You're going to go buy a porn. You have to buy them. You can't just like download it or anything like there's nothing like that yet. So yeah. you're buying them and it's like you and just other sad yeah. dudes in there. And then the guys who run the shops who kind of look like 
I can't believe they're you got, boner you know. killers. Yeah. So have you ever feared for your safety in New York? Yeah, I, I think I was jumped once or twice. I really don't Whoa. remember, you know, during the drunken days. But, you know, now I think it's a different level, Yeah, you know. But I, I, I'm always wondering if it's, is it because I'm old, I'm a homeowner now, you know, like, you know. Do you I'm, walk around telling people that? Is it like a sign? Yes, I usually walk around. <laughs> you have around. your house keys around your finger <laughs> yeah. instead of a ring, an engagement Fucking ring. Home I don't say right it, my butler does. Right. I have my announcer do it, my okay. publicist. Okay. <laughs> but uh, no, I was like, you know, I wonder if it's because I'm, it's like I'm past all that. And like right. for the young kids moving here, because you see them like in the village on the weekend and they're all dressed up, yeah. having a great time. We're past that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the thing. It's like, you know, it's a, like a sex in the city thing. Can I reference that? Yeah, Has that ever may. been referenced on this show? Never. Is it the yeah. first person to bring it up? Yeah. Exactly. And I remember their fisting episode. Hilarious. Ah, I believe it all had to Miranda. do with lube. No, have you so. seen every episode of Sex in the City, Dave? No, I haven't, but I believe my husband has. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I think when you're on the road and mm. we're all road people, mm -hmm. like there is that like, you know, you, you have to watch the TV of the uh, Comfort uh, Inn. Of the locals. And, and they always have like a Sex in the City marathon. And it's like comforting. You're yeah. like, ah, yeah. oh, just laying there in a strange bed. Yeah. yeah watching the nice. ladies brunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Nice. Take so like a break. Never, oh, yeah. sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> So more New York questions. Well, what no, do you like, guys think? I, I've been, well, I've been pondering lately how well, whenever I'm out, or, you know, doing spots at night, there's always this group of like 20 somethings and they're always so eager to just be here, you know, and it's yeah. really sweet. And I, and it makes me reminisce on, I miss that energy. I don't like my friends and I like, don't drink. We stopped drinking. That's really cool. I'll, I'll, like I had a up. beer last night, mm -hmm. but I'm like, wow, I really loved drinking. But then I look back at all the time, the fun I had, mm -hmm. I was just getting so fucked up that I couldn't realize I wasn't having fun. Well, do you feel like, like as I do, that I missed the fentanyl wave? Absolutely. I really think that I would have, I, that would have really, you, you know, been flourished. my thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The rent no, would have gone down. I, I also think that the ones that we see in New York, and I didn't realize this when I was young, but there's like, you know, uh, these young kids are the winners. A lot of them went to really good schools. They're from money. Yeah. They either like have a nice place or share it with like a roommate and uh, they have like futures. They have yeah. great jobs and, Safety. They, and they've also never failed yet. So they kind of like are walking around in this like, hey, you know, <sighs> it's, my world. Die. it's my yeah. world. Yeah. And that's the, definitely the attitude they have. When you were young, did you feel like you didn't have a future? Like when's the first time you, you, you saw a future for yourself? When I walked through that door. Yeah, it's a goddamn right. Said, What's missing on this podcast? Stop it. old creepy uh, wingman. You're, no, but, but no, you're actually I, I, not I, creepy I think, at all. I would talk about comedy. I feel like you want to be creepy, but you're like not. I feel like you really want to be creepy and you're not. You want to identify as well, a Well, I showered. I don't do those wipes that are big with <laughs> you your, your generation. Yeah. You don't have time to shower anymore? Is that what it is? I love you a wipe. the butthole with the wipe, though. Yeah, but what, what, why, why so busy? Because <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, we're trying honestly, to run away from ourselves. Okay, I don't know. What else are we going to do? Uh, well, but, anyway, just what I want to say is that... <laughs> Back in the day of comedy in the 80s during the comedy a drought, because this is the boom. So that was like when it was falling apart. Right. And I used to play a club on um, 43rd and uh, between 9th and 10th in Hell's Kitchen called the uh, Improv, which okay. is oh, now uh, Don Giovanni's. Oh, nice. That's and a good I mean, restaurant. It is a great one. And if you go in that Don Giovanni's, you'll see a little plaque on the wall. This used to be like the birth of comedy. Oh. Are you serious? Yeah, you can go in there. You can sit by oh, it too if you want. Oh, I have to go. <laughs> that restaurant helped me through comedy because they had like a really good like pasta salad deal. Me and Frank used to go there <laughs> yeah. all the time because like it was it like a real meal, but it was affordable. We had one of my birthdays there. Everybody nice. was like, hey, you know what? This is sad, but it's fun. It's good. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> sad, but fun. <laughs> I'm curious. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of comics that we know that got sober and I got to see them both drunk and sober, but I've, yeah. I've only known you sober. What yeah. is drunk Dave like? Like Dave I had a drink for that up. show. So yeah, no, I drank a lot of Jaeger and whiskey Jaeger. and all that kind of stuff stuff but i'm also from long island so drinking earlier but since you were like 10 like like, like a 12 probably year old in the four, 14 yeah yeah you yeah. know the bar mitzvah was kind of the start of it i guess yeah. i don't know but i would say that those days like honestly booze is one thing um every comic now has their own tequila or uh right. vodka so yeah. what are you guys what are you guys rolling with uh, like what, the, what our drink of choice no like if you're gonna if you're gonna create your, a brand like oh. sam and mark they have a they have a liquor? Yeah, Bottega Cats, yeah. Yeah, they have their own. Oh, uh, whiskey. I believe it's a, is Whis it whiskey? Or, or I thought it was vodka or something. Oh, I thought it was a brown. It's all the rage. Like, but like, I, whatever, it's I cool as fuck. tequila. Fun. They're like Kylie Jenner. Tequila is a it's crowded field. It's, a it's very crowded. You got, you're up against George Clooney. I would call my tequila like pussy juice. Nice. You know, something like that, get a hook. Let's domain it. Let's yeah. get that, let's buy that today. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. I like that. Pussy juice with lime. Nice. Yeah. Mm. So that's Hard to it. order, but fun to drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lick it up. Mm. But how, so wait, but you were a partier. 
Uh, well, no, I mean, we were bar drunks mostly. You know? Oh, okay. New York had a lot of great bars then where it was just like you could go in and beer and shot it. But um, I think, you know, this is before Soho House and all that kind of, uh, <laughs> there was always a late night feel here. And that was right. why a lot of people lived in New York is that, you know, there was the bar and then there was the after party and all that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. I don't know Botchery. if that's still going on. I assume it would. I guess not know. anymore though. I used to know a place to, it. to stay out until seven in the morning regularly. Like I was pretty big partier. Good. And now it's like everything closes at two since yeah. post COVID. It I used to, really blows. I used to hang out at Fat Black Pussycat until like five in the morning all the time. Yeah, that's, but that's kind of like a half club too, you know? Right. Yeah, that's true. But and I guess I assume out in Brooklyn or something like that, there's probably something like that going on, right? I'm sure there's probably. something going on somewhere, but I don't know is, where it is. I'm not using, like, I'm not going out to party, but I'm also not using that time to sleep. I'm just at home alone up. Yeah, that's another. <laughs> that fucking blows. Once you're like, a, a can't sleep. Yeah, that's me. I'm never sleeping. It's like, what do you do with that time? And it's like, oh God, you got to figure out what to do. And I like, I'll read. And then I'm like. That's oh. good if you can read. Yeah. yeah. I watch documentaries with no endings and just like <laughs> crazy stuff. And With uh, no endings? I try and also throw things out. I think that's always fun late oh, at night. Oh, I love cleaning, cleaning my Cleaning things up. Oh, yeah. you don't worry. It doesn't that feel noisy. Like I, I like to clean late at night too, but I feel like sometimes the cleaning and the going through the closet gets too noisy living in an apartment. You're well, a good neighbor. Yeah, really. You are. <laughs> I've never considered, the only thing I won't do late at night is vacuum. Yeah. I'll do everything else. I don't do that. My but I do laundry late at night too. And I, yeah. that's very like, it's almost like therapy. Yeah. Like, no one's uh, awake. clean, clean stuff for tomorrow. I don't yeah. think I've ever done my own laundry. I don't even know how to work the machine. Wow. <laughs> You Why are you one, still doing you need your own one laundry, of those, Dave? You need one of those scared straight camps where you have <laughs> yeah, to learn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Domestic <laughs> responsibility. Yeah. Time to grow up. What no, do you do for fun? I sent it out. I don't have any fun. It didn't seem like you did. Like I spent last week. But you're, you're fun. Like your act is so fun. Well, I love hanging. Fun. I love yeah. the comedy hang. Yeah, I, you're I a think, great hang. I think that's one thing we can all agree on that like, um, you know, there's two parts to the job. One of them is the doing the comedy and the other one's getting to hang with comics. And yeah. I think a lot of people listening in there are comedy fans right now. You got some super fans and they get it that we all kind of get each other and it's yeah. always fun to hang and like talk material and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, you get a lot and, of writing done. You know, I, I would say that that's the cool of New York where it's like, you know, there's a lot of comics here, but there's also like a lot of uh, a community, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of a, a thing. It's nice. And as an old man of the community, it's great. <laughs> you're, like, a, you're our father. Like on the movie, The Beach, you know? I'm like the um, <laughs> that woman who kind of who gets, sets the rules. Who gets, <laughs> yeah, who gets kidnapped or whatever. I forget. It's been a while. Right, right. When was the last time you were on a vacation? Mm, I don't do that. I didn't think you did. You don't do I, that. If I get on a plane when I land, I want money. Okay. How about you guys? <laughs> I like traveling internationally for vacation. I agree. A domestic travel has been ruined by comedy. Yeah, I'm not yeah. going anywhere. Like, I've, like so people inviting me to their weddings. This thing has been the happening. Worst. People have, this thing has been happening to me lately. I think it's because I'm like single in my late thirties where people ask me to be their plus one to a wedding. I don't know the person getting married and they act like this is some kind of an opportunity for me. Oppor <laughs> what? And I go, How? I would rather shovel horse manure right. for wow. free than do this. A horse. It, yeah, exactly. This well, is exactly. the topic we should have been talking about horse. from the beginning. <laughs> right? I a plus to, one to wedding? You know, Louis Katz, he's a yeah, very funny yeah, guy. Yeah. I work with him all the time, close friend. His very special funny. just killed it. Yes, he has a special on YouTube. Check it out. Very, very cool. Yeah. And uh, he got married and uh, in LA to a great lady, uh -huh. great lady. And like, that's where he's from, so I get it. But he got married on 4th of July, oh, the worst travel weekend. Commandeering. And I kept going back and forth, like, I don't know if I can get out there and I got to get out there. I mean, I've been working with this guy and, you know, I got to go and I, you know, he's a friend. Right. So it was like the worst travel weekend. And like, I, I constantly would throw it in his face. Like, yeah. why Why now? Why 4th of July? What about New Year's Eve? Why couldn't we do it on that's New Year's even Eve? Worse. Yeah, I know, I'm uh, saying. Oh, okay. I thought you had lost your mind for a second. And then I said to him, I go, you know, why even have a wedding? Right. You <laughs> get it. And then you have a party. Yeah. And you can, people can zoom in, zoom, you yeah. know, like in and out. You should have offered to zoom into his wedding. That would have been great. That would have been nice. Because it's like, you don't want to put your friends, you don't want to make your, like your friend is essentially going, oh, I'm going to have to force myself to go to this thing that I don't want to go to because I don't want this person to get mad at me. Well, I, That's I, not I hate way. to say it, but I have a lot of experience with this because in my 20s, to make money, I used to work as a wedding photographer's assistant. Really? That's Stop the guy bragging, who job, jo Yeah, he would do the batteries and hold the lights, that guy. The and gas. I saw a million weddings and how, like, how, like, intricate and like how it, how much stress the people stress. are. Plus my parents owned a bridal shop, so I worked there. Oh. So I know this whole side of the business. Wow. Whoa. For the amount of intensity and money that goes into it, yeah. you could just have a party 
and you would like have a better time. Well, the thing yeah. that kills me is they're spending so much money to do something that's not at all unique. Like as an artist, like to me, the most hack done template thing is a wedding. I even interesting weddings are so Second fucking is boring. So take us through it. What would be your plan? Go ahead. For a, my wedding? Yeah, like you I don't wanna, want you want, one. I have Okay, a plan. but let's say you had to. <laughs> okay, no, go ahead. So this is so a forced one. wedding I now? want my wedding to be an immersive theater experience. <laughs> immersive theater. Hold on, uh -huh. let me soak uh -huh. that one in. Uh -huh. Okay. It's <laughs> interactive theater. So it's like, choose your own adventure and there's sets. It's, it, yeah, I want my wedding to be a spectacle. Really? But, but not to celebrate my love. I just want it to be a cool immersive theater show. Like a smash room, maybe. Kind People of. walk in and they Ooh. just start breaking shit up. Oh, oh, like a no, wrecking oh, room. Yeah. I, thought, I thought you were referring to like an orgy. Um, no. Uh, yeah, because I wouldn't want that. Um, I don't know. I would just want it to be like a weird. I would okay. want it to be weird. What would people eat? Um, oh, I would. I would reimagine my favorite food as a child, uh, really? an adult, like uh, peanut butter and jelly, like a gourmet version of my favorite. That's children's a great. Food. That's a great. Now, menu. would you have a wedding idea? cake? No, I don't like cake. How about cupcakes? No, I don't like cupcakes. Because I'm glad you said no to that. Because yeah. if I go to a wedding and there's cupcakes there, I'm like, what's going on? Is this uh, like a hospital wedding or something? Is someone going to die? What's so happening So what's here? your preferred dessert? I like a big old wedding cake. Oh, I think okay. that's great. Okay. And then you put smash some in someone's face. You know, that whole oh, experience. That's a See, you I can't like do it. that. You like the smashing of the cake Well, it seems to be face? the thing that gets the most clicks. True. <laughs> it's all about clicks. Would you write your own vows? Yes. In what language? Klingon? What would you do? Uh, Mandarin. I would do it in Mandarin and I would learn it. To I do it in old Valerian. Well, we have, like Colin and I have joked, like we want to, we would basically want to, if we were ever to get married, we want the whole thing to be a joke. Yes. Like, and none of it's, none of it's serious. We would have a dog bar so people could bring your dog, oh, dog cool. to the wedding. And there's well, like the a, dogs have to dress up. Yeah, I think, I think so. And then all the men have to wear one of the dumb and dumber tuxes, really? the, either the red or the orange or the blue. And then the women had to wear a dress from bridesmaids movies. Wow. Yeah. Now he's Just Irish, right? He is, yes, from Ireland. So would he wear like a kilt or something like that? That, no, he that's probably Scottish, would. That's right? Scottish. <laughs> okay, um, good. People from Ireland, yeah, no, that's mainly Scottish. Um, okay. But yeah. But the great about him, he's a great guy, by the yeah, way. Yeah, he's great. Is that you already have the band booked. Because oh, it's just already. all the people yeah, coming yeah, to the yeah, wedding yeah. can play in musical exactly. instruments. So that would be fun. That's going to save you thousands Yeah, of everyone dollars. has a job to do. And he has so many friends that own bars, like beautiful venues in the city. I'm like, mm -hmm. I think we can marry for free. Now, I'm going to throw this out there, and this might be better for your um, de reimagining, de deconstructing the wedding. Okay. How about do it in the round? A, a, a wedding that? in the round? That yeah. sounds fun. So it's like that you're constantly fun. turning. You're constantly oh, turning around, like much like a relationship. Yeah. Like, re you know, and that kind of thing. No, but we'll second speed is it the up. Same. Okay. Speed it up. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be very dizzy at the end. <laughs> I'm glad I do we love talked spinning, about though. This. Well, we've talked about, I forget which app, which guest it was. Oh, no, it was maybe Dan St. Germain about how, like, when co comics are always the center of attention when we go on stage and stuff. So, like, a wedding to us, we're like, ugh, more of this. Yeah, because like, we shut down introverts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're selfish. The only part I like is that. That, it, that make, it sounds exciting for me is the vows part, but that's just really doing yes. stand up. Now, would you do them standing or on city bikes? <laughs> <laughs> I would do mine standing. Oh, I love a docked city bike. Yeah, That kind of sounds mm. fun. We do like a stationary bike, but it's just one singular city bike docked. And he's and that's beautiful. He's holding you or you're holding him. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I would, go, would you do the Vegas? Would you do the, no. no. I hate Vegas. I don't like I was Vegas just in Vegas in and there. I saw Vegas everything but bride's parties there. Yeah. It's like, it's it's been taken over by yeah. and other things. Mm. Now here's, I'm going to throw this out too. Um, would you do an outdoor uh, ceremony? Because I've been to a bunch of those, the cheap. Mm, but that's nah. also a gamble with the yeah. weather. I don't yeah, wanna, it is a gamble. I don't want to stress about the rain stuff. And the wind and then all your hair is blowing and yeah. your lip gloss. Yeah, you yeah, put yeah, a lot yeah. of work into it. With these curls. No, nah, I don't want And what the about wind. the ducks? It's always an attack of ducks <laughs> at some point. You saw one Instagram <laughs> yeah, reel. Yeah. <laughs> I saw an Instagram reel of a woman getting married outdoors at a lake and a, and a bear was eating a moose during their vows. Oh, I saw hilarious. that. The moose yeah. was screaming. It was so That would be my luck. Horrific. Mm. Yeah. Have you almost like like a bad omen. Attack. Oh, that okay. Have you ever been engaged or thought about and proposing? No, but I really wanted kids, but I don't think that's going to happen now. It could still happen. It could happen. You think so? Yeah, you're De Niro. Look at De Niro. Like any age, Dude, this could happen. You're so much That's younger than right. De Niro. I'm too young to have them still. Exactly. In yeah. my seventies, I should really think about it. Yeah, I You'd would be a like great to dad. have them. I think I would. Be, I think it would be too because I already have my backup plan, which is. Uh, you know, me and my child, we work a food truck. Oh, yeah. Make well, the kid work from jump. Dave and them, because yeah. I don't know what they'll be. <laughs> right. You know. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to teach him. I'm not going to send him to school. He'll learn on the subways. He'll just yeah. go on the subways right. and learn how to fight and talk and sing. 
That'd be fun. <laughs> you think? He could be part of your act. How about you adopt a kid and be a single dad, a single road dog? I, I don't think you can. I don't think, I think people think adoption is way, it's a lot harder. Oh, oh no, 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 Even adoption. adopting a dog is tough now. No, no you're right. Yes, adoption is. Is, is difficult, but I feel like being a celebrity would be helpful. Well, I'm yeah. not a celebrity. Yes, and you that's are. even worse. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, it could be your. You I'm, could I'm, be. Honestly, I'm not, but I. <laughs> Well, we've all been taught how much fun it is um, through these sitcoms and stuff like how, like, you know, Having he's kids. a widower and um. he's raising these three <laughs> kids. I don't think you want to be like a it's, it's not, I bet. It's a lot of work, I bet. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if you want it, I don't want you to not live this lifetime without uh, realizing that dream for yourself. I think we all, um, you know, for I bet it starts small with a dog. Do you have a dog? I do have a dog. And how is that going? Great. What kind of dog is it? He's a rescue. No, he's like a, He's a rat terrier whippet mixed with a little chihuahua in there. He's I like right, that. He's actually right here wearing a denim yeah, jacket. That's my dog. Oh, that's him? That's oh, okay. my that's, dog, That's Kevin. Christina's dog. This is my dog. Wow. Alfred. Oh, I like that. This Alfred's is Sir so Alfred cute. Hitchcock. Dude, who do you think was the first person to dress up their dog? <laughs> I mean, that had to be like a big shock to like this. is Like, your dog is wearing right. a tiara. Like, is <laughs> right. that allowed? I was initially it's against so it, but I never had a small dog, and he was ac he actually would shiver without clothes on. I like that. I love <laughs> dressing like that? my dog. Yeah. <laughs> I love dressing my dog. So he has to wear like a hoodie or a jacket sometimes. The denim one, that was a little bit more for a handsome boy. But You know, do you put him in a dog daycare or no? No, I usually have him stay with a like a friend when oh, I'm on cool. the road. Yeah, the dog. I'm I work from home mostly, so that's great. Yeah. Your dog is really lucky. I hope they appreciate it because I walk <laughs> past in, in the neighborhood. <laughs> Not like my non-binary dog. You ever see like they have the window? You can look into the door. Sure. And what are they doing in there? Having a good time? No, they're no. all looking at the door, waiting yeah. for their person Please to somebody come back. Come. It looks like they're all like. Like Sad. just waiting. It's like almost like, you know, they're waiting to like see if they get to go to Harvard or something. Right. They're like all <laughs> very depressing. nervous. Yeah, yeah. You know, they walk around in circles like, did I get in? <laughs> and they're just waiting for the person like the whole time. They're just like waiting there the whole time. Yeah. It's like have a dog you, jail. Have you ever had a pet? Well, I have had multiple pets, but never as an adult because of the road. See, I don't oh. know how you do it being on the road with these dogs. Yeah, I got my a dog, small one. Yeah. I have a, my dog a service license, so he comes with me on the plane. I love that. Yeah. I love when I get on a plane, there's a dog on the plane. Oh. I'm like the only guy who loves that. I, I really love, love, that. We love that too. Oh my God, I'm upset. Like all, when there's a golden retriever on the plane. That's a big one though. Holy shit, I love it. I, love I like it. the little ones and like they're peeking out at yeah. you the whole time. Yeah. And then they get really nervous and you're like, what is it? Right. He, can he feel it? <laughs> yeah. This is a Boeing, isn't it? So one dog, no, no, like um, doubling up yet. Nah, no. one's enough. Is that a tell when you're when you're with a guy if he doesn't like dogs? You're like, okay, it's not gonna work. I don't think I've ever met a guy that doesn't like dogs. I've met guys who are feel who feel competitive with my dog. Really, that's I, interesting. The dog has to get to like him, right? Well, the, yeah, my dog is usually like, will pretty much like who I like after a certain amount of time. And he does like men because I guess they're smelly or something. But mm. um, she, yeah. yeah, he, I've had boyfriends like be jealous of the amount of attention I give my dog. Really? Mm -hmm. Not going to lie. I've been jealous about the amount of attention my boyfriend gives my dog before. Really? I haven't said that out loud before. Oh. Thanks for creating a good to face. clear the air. No problem. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. But then I go, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up, Christina. <laughs> well, the dog knows you better than he does. Usually that's yeah, what it is. Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, the dog will like go up to it. My dog loves Colin, but it, it, my dog is very, uh, he, he likes Corinne, me and Colin. That's it. That's pretty much it. Those are the only really? people that he like will actively be excited to go see. Mm -hmm. um, but once he got into Colin's good graces, it took about a year. So he, I you have it. to really earn, earn the trust. Wow. <laughs> That's uh, you know, I could totally see that because dogs, you know, they can they can see into our souls a little bit, you mm -hmm. know. So that's good. Oh, I really want you to have a dog now. Yeah, and I a, want and a dog a and a baby. What other things are you throwing? We're gonna, on gonna, the gonna leave here with a with a, 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 a big to do father. list. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, men are always scooping up wives. It doesn't seem that hard. I you, mean, but look at the, look at the up. scene. It's too, uh, <laughs> it's scene. too fractured. <laughs> the scene is fractured. No, the, the comp, it's too much like a uh, road and travel and not much. Yeah, I, I, feel like I really have to deal with it. You're running away, day. Dave. You're That's running true. away. That is totally true. Cause also, I've met plenty of great let people. let love in. It's mm. great when you don't spend a lot of time together and you're in a relationship. Oh, That's amazing. My favorite. Not many people put up with that though. I love it. You gotta get someone that gets our, our, our lifestyle, you know? Because it's like, then you're not sick of each other. And then when you do get to see each other, you're like, oh, this is nice. And then mm. you're like nice sort of each other because you don't true. see each other often. You're like, I think this is the way to go. I think it's probably unnatural to live with a romantic partner. I think that's actually unnatural. Really? Yeah, and I've done it. I've done it. It's just, you're not... You're not meant to have somebody in your space all the time. It's weird because we don't have uh, straight jobs, you know, like yeah. we're, nine to five is a different story. So yeah, yeah. yeah. 
But I would say uh, my, um, uh, you know, it takes up a lot of my time is my mom. I'm primary care. You know, my mom has dementia and stuff like that. So mm. it really takes up a lot of time. And, um, you know, God bless her. She's hanging in there. And, like, uh, that's something for you guys to uh, think about is that, like, you know, enjoy your... 30s and 40s because when you get to your 50s you know you're taking care of somebody you know mm -hmm. that's really what it is so. i already did it my dad already died i got a, I got a head start yeah see so that i just Stop i just bragging. i just so you know what i'm talking I about i just finished that yeah 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 well i finished that with one parent but yeah no i mean it was i look i broke uh, i uh, i was dating someone right after my dad died and i was like i can't i gotta heal so much I, yeah, I, no, it's, I broke it's a lot up of work. with him yeah and it's it's honestly it's very depressing and Ugh. it's also like you know you feel for this person because like they're there but they don't know who you are right. but did she ever really know who i was <laughs> well, we'll be right back that's so this is an interesting question say. my dad didn't have dementia but so he he suffered cardiac arrest and after that when he was resuscitated he had you know a, a lot of brain damage and he came back as like an eight-year-old basically and all his memories were lost so similar kind of thing going on there but what i found really interesting is that he maintained his sense of humor do you find that at all with dementia my mom's an angel like she really always has been, um, you know, like, honestly, I, she's my idea of what a great person is. Like she always wow. volunteered and, and it was always others before herself. Uh -huh. And she still is that way. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's just very sad that like, you know, so many people want to, you know, be with her and, 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 you know, she had a, a hundreds of friends, you know, so involved in so many things. And like now she doesn't really know who they are. And like, it's sure. really hard to engage with them when you're sitting there and all that. But I would say for her and all people out there, especially the uh, other people who are dealing with this is that you're not alone. And, and um, music is a big thing yes. with them. You know, music is with, it, it, it definitely hits a part of the brain that mm -hmm. comedy doesn't, but music is the thing that like, she can sing songs from like when she was a child. And my like, dad too. Yeah. It really, it really is like uh, amazing how that works, how your brain will remember music. He you know? didn't yeah. remember anything. And the first thing when I had like a glimmer of hope that maybe his like memories would come back is he, uh, I played Hey Jude and he completed the lyrics yeah. to Hey Jude on his own. Amazing. Because I started, you know, because it was, it, uh, it was kind of coming back. Like they said, the childhood memories would come back first. So I started with like his favorite band from childhood, which would be the Beatles. Mm -hmm. And that, and then he also remembered um, uh, songs from the Wizard of Oz too. That's amazing. So I was like that. But then after oh, that, comedy came back. I mean, like his, his, he was a very funny person and his sense of humor was like back. Like I always said, he was telling everyone in hospice that he owned a porn shop. <laughs> I mean, he didn't, but. I know, I know great. he did the baseball memorabilia, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, could he remember all of that? Cause that's so important for what he did, you know? No, he couldn't, God, I wish. No, I, I had to, I had to figure that out through pieces of his email and notes and stuff. He remember, like he would say things about that business, but like in broken pieces that didn't make really? sense to me. Like maybe there, maybe it was something that if I had, I guess, known more, cause I know a lot about the business of baseball cards, but I don't know like sports. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, know, I, I, I hired someone to do that part. But but you're a good daughter, you know? Cause honestly, it really is like my sister's uh, another one and my cousin and like, you know, we have a lot of good people like involved, but like I'm the guy paying for it and I'm the guy going out there. And, yeah. uh, and you know, time. sometimes there's not much you can do. And it really yeah. is like Long Island traffic is a, is a soul crushing experience. So And also just being with a parent who's going through that is just hard emotionally. I it can't imagine. Terrible. That's not like, yeah, my partner's mother is uh, in a home for dementia and that we went last Christmas, I think, and we he brought his guitar and all of the siblings That's were there cool. and we were all singing and she was, she just came back to life and I was like, oh my God. That's great. It's really fascinating. Like well, what can make them different? That's so cool that he did that because yeah, that is something they can connect with. But I have her in a house with round the clock care and that's, you know, these people are, whoever does that kind of job, can you imagine doing that? Like that's it's really, tough. really difficult. Yeah. And um, you know, they take really good care of her. And like, all I, all I can say is that, uh, you know, this whole thing of living forever, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't think it, I yeah. mean, my mom was in the hospital. The woman next to her is a hundred years old. Mm. So, you Ugh. know, that's crazy, yeah. right? It's too long. <laughs> that's that would, very long. That'd be good if the doctor came in and go, you know, yeah. you need it <laughs> really, it honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, our lifespan too. I mean, my OBGYN last, for my last checkup, she was like, for someone like you, she's like, your lifespan's like a hundred. 
Wow. How, wait, oh, she Because you don't smoke or drink or anything like that, right? So you don't have any of those. Yeah, triggers. no. And I was like, I was like, oh, okay. Well, then I just, it made, me, smoking. it made me, I never had never wanted a kid. And then I was like, well, I'm going to have so much time on that other right. end when I'm Forget not just about fucking a kid. fucking. You, if you're going to live that long, you should get a parrot. You know how long these parrots right, they, are living? They will outlive you almost always. Seven. Birds freak me out a little bit. I know I almost got a parrot, but I'm like, ah, if I want it to shut up and it, do, it doesn't, I'm going to be pissed. I That's like the worst possessed. thing now. People are dying and their parrots like are living on. Oh my God, is there like, and yeah, no. I, I, Where do they go? When you talk about what you're looking at late at night, that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> these these poor parrots, Abandoned their parrots. owners are dead, and now people take them on. They have no idea what their name was sometimes, oh. or what they they're talking about. You know. Oh. So I'm telling you. Thank like, you for bringing this to our attention. I never this could be our that. cause. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Abandoned that's, parrots. That's a tough. That's a tough. Um, yeah. Pet yes. to have. You got to give them a lot of attention. They're like little kids. <laughs> Is it hard to not get like like upset with a sibling that's not pulling the right, even if they can't, you know, like. Uh, everybody can only do what they, it, it's great when everybody's involved in it, but like, yeah. let's face it. It's tough though. The further people are away, the 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 more it's hard for them to connect, but it's also yeah. like, puts more pressure on the people who are there, you know. Right. So that's huh. what it is. But to be, to be kind to everyone, I'd say that everyone is concerned. There's just like, uh, you know, a lot of. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's done, and that's why I'm very lucky with my sister. You know, I, I thank her every time. Yeah, and like, yeah. you know, honestly, she's an angel. So, you know, it is um, it is what it is. But I think down the down the road, like when you guys are, you know, a little older, AI would probably be part of this. Am I okay. right? Like you have a thing you put over your parents' head and like, you know, it makes them look like they're happy and you can walk away <laughs> going, I think they're good. You, you could feel <laughs> like better a, about yourself. A smile, yeah. Like I was wondering like, where you were going out, with that. Have fun, I'll be all right. And they're it's, laying their own filth. Uh, oh, right. It's a headset that puts a face filter over them so they look like they're <laughs> better time. Damn, why ruin my right. day? Right, right, right. <laughs> Why, do you feel room? pressure like you're not doing enough? Always. Really? Guilt. Oh, see, that's I, incredible yeah. guilt coming at me all the time. I see, I did a really good guilt job. Sucks. Like I I made sure that I would not feel that. Like I did. I'm doing everything I can. And, that, that, that's, and I know you are. That's why I'm asking. I don't even leave why the country because I'm afraid I might have to come back. Yeah, that's so why that, you have nothing to be guilty of. Yeah, so like where's the guilt still know. coming from? I just feel like there's always something more that can be done. And it's also, uh, like you said, about I don't want to leave anyone else hanging. You know, I want to do my, my part. Right. But I would say that like you know when you're not when you're not living with the with the parent because this is new the fact that like we have parents and a lot of my friends have had the same situation where like they either brought them into their house they had a family and how difficult that is with somebody with an issue like that in a family situation or they put them in uh like a uh, in a facility which to me i'm glad that's the one thing i tell yeah. my sister all the time that like, we didn't do that during the pandemic because oh, she would have died. Yeah. yeah. And like we yeah, went yeah, to look yeah. at a bunch of them and we're like, no. And I was like, I'd rather have round the clock care. And it's on me. You know, I'm, I'm floating the bill. So I'm like, that's what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. And you can rest easy knowing that she's in a good facility with good people because that's the other thing. If somebody was, I don't, I don't speak to either of my parents, but of course, if they were to fall <laughs> ill, I would, I would. Well, that's, that's, you know, that's sad, different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That but, means um, you're really an angel because like if you don't have connection with them now. You yeah. Know, but, you know. It's, you know, it's not, whatever. Uh, it's mostly their stuff. Stubbornness, but um, but then like it, it, even on that, like if they were to fall ill or get dementia and they were in a home, and if somebody mistreated them, yes. oh, I'd lose my mind. I would fucking lose you my mind. You might have to make peace with them before that. Yeah, Listen, yeah. Listen, we think differently. Yeah. I believe the earth is round. Mm -hmm. I don't know what their issue is, but <laughs> <laughs> trying to keep it very- uh, <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, yeah, no, well, are you an only child or do you have other kids? I have an older brother. Okay, well, let's also make sure that he's ready to go with this too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk about he's a he plays a little bit of a middleman role now, which I nice. I don't want him to do. He That's still lives not, at home. No, he has his own family. He's mm. got a son. He's yeah, but Great. he's the, my parents stopped getting under his skin once he had his son. Yeah, because I was like, how do they, they you not kid, bother no. you? I mean, well, I don't talk to them, so I don't. I mean, I'm sure mm. she would do the thing of guess I'm never gonna have a grandkid, huh? Like you know, right. whatever. It's fine. It is important to them. I get yeah, it. Yeah, and they, and it's also like gives them a chance to like redo parenting in and be seen as a good person in the eyes of a child. Well, you know, I'll tell you, there's times when we're, me, my sister doesn't have kids either. So we'll be sitting with my mom or whatever, or like, uh, you know, we'll be sitting with them and the dog becomes the center of attention. Like, how's he doing? Yeah, yeah. I heard he had to go to the vet because there's right. no kids to talk about. It's not like, guess who's in college or anything yeah. like that. So having children at least gives you conversation starters with other people. <laughs> that, so and that's the most important thing. At the very thing. least, yeah. that's what you get. Like, oh, so I got to go. Sounds. My kid's not feeling too good. You know, right. that kind of stuff. It's an so. excuse. It's a conversation mm -hmm. topic. You can do that with dogs too, though. Yeah, but I don't know. I'd say like if if you're going to do a special, people want to hear more about your kids than your dog, right? What do you I think? disagree. I, I like dog man. jokes a lot more. I, 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 I 
honestly I feel like jokes. most comedians start failing when they start talking yes. about their kids. I agree. It's so fucking Patrice boring. O'Neal. No one wants to hear it. <laughs> Patrice O'Neill, other than the room, the, the bit about he has about his pit bull is so fucking funny. Yeah. Oh yeah. my I agree with God. You on that. Like Burt Kreischer and Gaffigan are good with their kid material. Everyone else, and They're I won't great. I won't name the bad kid material, but everyone yeah. else went soft when they started talking about their kids. And I was like, this is some middle-aged casino bullshit comedy, and I don't really? want to hear it. Yeah. I always felt like the crowd themselves are like, you know, they're they're like away from their kids, but they love to hear kind of like, you know, hey, someone else is going through it. That's why I always totally. thought that, that stuff would kill. But Ugh. I could see your side of it. Yeah. I agree with you on that. I guess it's also, you know, I had only been, you know, uh, when I was a comedy super fan, you know, now I'm in it, but like I was just too young to like, I'm like, I don't want to hear, I want to hear drinking stories yeah, and debauchery. Yeah. I don't want to hear, yeah. oh, how your kid had a snot, like mm. yawn. I, uh, I know what you're talking about, but it seems like when you do that, Let's call it the um, seven o'clock on a Saturday show, where it's mostly the families. You yeah. know, like the, the I hate those shows. the couple. The yeah. couples are coming out. You Ugh. know, it's yeah. like they're it's one our night, night out. out. Right. Night out. You feel like they want to hear that, like you know, I you know my kid is a something. Right. And, you know that kind of stuff. Yeah. Is there yeah. anything in life that you want to do and haven't yet? Mm, that's so. It's such a great one. I don't know. Uh, like it's making anything. noises, thinking but making noises. Uh, no, there's lots of stuff I'd like to do. I mean, there's states that I haven't even played yet. Oh, which ones? Guess. I'll Nebraska. You, played it. Montana. Alaska. No. You caught it. Right yeah. There. yeah. It's, it's a hard my, state I to just play. My agent people haven't been there. Play Montana. <laughs> Doug Stanup is one of the guys that I know uh. has played it continuously. You got to play like halls. Or oh. like, uh, you know, like um, oil rigs. Mm. You got to do that kind of thing. <laughs> Same thing in Wyoming. Beautiful. It's a tough one. It's it's Wyoming. beyond beautiful, I heard. Yeah. So yeah, I'd like to play Montana, Wyoming. I'm going to be playing Mississippi. I'm going to be on Burt's tour. <gasps> nice. No, okay. I've never played there. And then I think uh, I played, well, I kind of played Puerto Rico, I think. I'm okay. not exactly sure, but I played Hawaii. <laughs> You're not exactly sure. I'm not sure. sure. I remember being there for like the USO or something. So <laughs> okay. I'm going to say a fu- okay. couple of funny jokes. But uh, yeah, Montana, Wyoming. I played the Dakotas, I think. So that would nice. be all the states. And I played Alaska. Have you guys been up to Alaska? No. no. Oh, I want to go it. to Alaska yeah. so bad. You really I, would like it. I emailed my agent a list of, or my manager a list of like places I want to go. And there are a lot of places like the, we do historically well, but I'm like, I want to fucking go to Alaska. I want to go to Hawaii. Like, I want to go to all these places. Australia. Yeah. I want to travel. I haven't done that. I haven't done oh, that. Oh, you've never done Australia? No, it's too long a flight. Yeah. And uh, That's to be honest, I, keep... I, can't, leave the con- yeah. I can't leave the country. Right. I smoke. Yeah, so yeah. it would be really like a meltdown on the plane, I think. That's what I would think. Like, oh, Australia, we have so many fans there and they keep saying, when are you going? And I go, when you make Australia closer. Or when I you just pay can. me to yes. fly first class and then I can at least walk around That's a little bit. That's the way to do and it. And also people act so mental on planes. I'm I'm more scared of the, I'm not scared of me. I'm scared of the other passengers yes. and how they on will start flight. behaving. Like on a, on an LA flight, people are acting like maniacs. Really? Yep. There's always, there's just people's behavior is always it's bad. weird and elevated and not normal reactions to like banal things. I can't handle mm-hmm. it. I don't well, like that. Well, here's how you do it. You go from here to LA, you do some shows there or yeah. whatever. Then you go to Hawaii, okay? Then you go to Korea, South Korea. <laughs> Ooh. That would okay. be good. Oh, so now you're slowly go working your right. way down to Australia. Okay? That right. sounds then fun. You, then you go to Thailand or one of those places, you know? <gasps> yeah. Okay. I don't know if- my dog, even, I'm, I'm away from my dog too long already. Yeah. It's too long. But that's the way that I was thinking, like, you know, I can fly seven hours, I guess. So I was like thinking, how could I get down there? I've right. done 14. That, Whoa. I've was, done longer than and that. And I was 14. fine. Whoa. 14 we, was fine. When we flew for the USO, like it was endless, like some of these flights, you know, and these aren't like prop planes. So, yeah. Holy shit. You know, what can I tell you? Like, um, comedy's so international now. Yeah. You know, and you see that at the comedy seller all the time. It's like comics coming from all the world and like the audience themselves are coming from all the world. So this is a great time if you love to travel. Like yeah. I was talking to a bunch of comics about traveling that like, yeah, you can actually get some decent gigs around the world. It wasn't always that way. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was talking to my friend Casey and Robbie. They're both comics and they live in my building and they were saying they just got back from Amsterdam. They had a woman yeah. organize a tour, Amsterdam, Germany. We have a lot of fans in Germany. Um, that would be a good one for you guys. And then it's so that's like, not bad at flight. You that's also don't bad. have to yeah. worry about being a draw. They just arrange it and and there's a lot of like, everybody speaks English, everybody like, and they have like a guaranteed audience. It's yeah. not just like American comic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. You're not necessarily <laughs> making money, but you're not losing it. You're like a little bit breaking. See, that's where, that's where I have a problem. Cause I, like yeah. the whole experience of traveling, that's great. You know, I'd love yeah. to go to the museums and the food yeah. and everything, but like, I got to make some you money. You want to make money. I yeah, want to yeah. make some money. So yeah. it's either Deutschmarks or uh, Deutschmarks. I'll take Cougaron. 
you know, wow. that'd be uh-huh. really like an international comic. You know, yeah, yeah. what's the number one country that you want to go to, even if it was just for? And I know you don't like this, just for a vacation. Just for a vacation? Yeah, like where's a place? I that really you, don't even think about it. You're I mean, not interested in seeing the world? Um, I can't. I, I, I would say that like. You know, I've done some places in the Middle East, but not really the fun places. So Ooh. I would say that it was mostly for USO. But right. I guess I would go to Europe. I'd also, I'm interested in Eastern Europe. Like, mm-hmm. I think that I that went would to Romania kind of, and it was incredible. How was Highly it? recommend. But I'm afraid of going to these places when you're sober because these, like, it will be great to get wasted at Dracula's palace, uh, castle or something it's like that. It's pretty great sober, too. I went with my mom after. It was my college graduation present. Like, oh. it's, I retraced the steps that they uh, take in Bram Stoker's Dracula. And I actually went to Vlad the Impaler's tomb the real Vlad the Impaler. oh wow it's, was it creepy was it scary it's not not scary it's like gorgeous and phenomenal and kind of mysterious because you have to pay like a local person to let let you canoe across the moat like oh, wow. it's not easy to get to there's wild dogs everywhere like i <gasps> oh, love wild dogs I lo- the only bad thing about romania is the food everything else is phenomenal the people wow. are great the place is great well, maybe Chernobyl. You know, they have that, I, that thing going on go. there now. Yeah. Yes, you There's can go. There's a lot go. of influence. You got like an hour going. and a half in there, and then they Take immediately that ass out of that pull you right out of there. Yeah. But uh, that's cool that you like went. This, I can tell what year you went to do that. It was before the movie Hostel. Because I bet you tourism <laughs> dropped off right after that. That really kind of hit the whole like, yeah. hey, I don't want to end up having my organs harvested, you know? <laughs> I think it was like in 2008. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no. You know, it was in 2000. How old do you think I am? No, I don't know. I figured you and your mom, you're out there doing these castles, right? Did you go to... Um, Bavaria, any of those places? Ooh. Lithuania? No, we just we just did Romania. Luxembourg, nothing. No, we just. Did. I wanted to go to Hungary because we're Hungarian, but we, it just worked out that we went on a specific tour that was just doing Romania, and that was a lot, and that was. But I would definitely go back. But I guess for comedy, I guess you'd want to go to England because they have like a We've pretty good that. scene there. I love London. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We've done that. I Have you done it. stand up there? Yeah. yeah, I sold out. I got to sell out a theater by myself, like 450 seats or something. Uh, last That's time I was cool. in London. Yeah, yeah. And then I tried to do it again in Ireland, and not as many people in Ireland listen yeah, to the podcast. Tough. But God, that country is beautiful. It is really England and Ireland. Whew, and then I think Scotland must be. I haven't seen Scotland. I haven't been there. Whew. Really? You haven't been to Scotland? Oh, no, I know I've they have that big festival there too, but you're there yeah. for like two months. Yeah. yeah. I've heard though that's not a good, like for comics, all the comics that have done it lately, they're like, every don't comic do it. has been like, it's hell. I wanted to kill myself. Yes. Well, because it's the all on you. Month. You got to promote and it's yeah. a lot of like, you know, same faces coming in kind of thing. But now that Just for Laughs is uh, on pause or down, you know, yeah. that used to be like the big adventure. You go to Montreal, yeah, it was sure. exciting. You know, Loved you. the people were French enough, you know what I'm talking about? Like mm-hmm. they were like, kind of cool, you know, stylish and everything French like enough, that. Yeah. yeah. Half models up there, a lot of half looking <laughs> Yeah, but there were a lot of hot people. A lot the of hot. The strippers were really hot. Everybody up there, I thought was like, wow, you guys are way like, this is no, uh, you know, this is no, this, this is serious. Yeah. How, what you guys do there. Yeah. You guys take yourself seriously. It's something in the poutine. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, do you, so you, do you feel like you have an obsession with working? Like, is there ever a world, are you know, just work till you die guy. like Joan Rivers or like, what are we doing here? I, I think that that's like, what else are we going to do? I don't know. Well, what else do you want to do? Yeah. What, is there anything else that you want to do besides work? Well, I would like to get a web thing going. So like you guys have this great show. Okay. But that's still work, it. Dave. Yeah. But like, here, here's the thing. Like now you're connected to these people, you know? So this is like part yeah. of your, part of your. How about you, Cam? What? Webcam. Oh my God, Cam, Dave. Cam, Cam, yeah, whatever Cam happened guy. to OnlyFans? Wait, why aren't you guys like involved there. in this? What? Because I don't want to be. We're not selling our pussy for no, money. No, but you don't I have would. to do that. Isn't there levels of that? Like, you know, it's like mm. a pool. There's I want like, zero you levels of deeper. that. Any, any, any tawdry photos I take, well, I put directly pardons, online. As we say in my part of the world. <laughs> I didn't know that. I, I want to force men a, to listen to female comedians without being nude. I feel like this has a very been very hard for men oh, historically. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. I'm just saying that. What about putting the podcast on? Like I did that Dave's old porn show, and I'm like, right. that could probably go on OnlyFans now. So oh, doing a show like so it's that, like a Patreon. Yeah, like you don't have to be naked. I didn't yeah. know that. No, people use it as yeah a Patreon, but I mean oh. we, we have Luminary already, so we're already on. See, it. I don't yeah. even know what that is. So it's OnlyFans, I just really got. Uh, Used to now. We're like, actually just gonna we're gonna isolate that, and that's gonna be the promo. <laughs> Luminary. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> They're gonna love that on Luminary. <laughs> So this OnlyFans thing, yeah, correct. Do you yeah. see that as the future, or is this just another new thing? I think that's going to be around for a long time. Women, think so. are, women are making 
way too much money for that to go anywhere. Oh really? yeah. Do you really think they're making as much money as they're saying they're making? Yeah, uh, yeah. I know for a I've fact. I've seen some the, people. The, the plane seats that they fly. Yes, they are making mm. money. Yeah, they are, they are flying first class to places that I'm like, oh wow. girl, you got mad. We interviewed a girl. This was before OnlyFans. She sold her poop in a Tupperware container a couple times, and she jarred her. No, she wasn't the fart girl. Uh, she sold something else, like pee or something. Anyway, she has two homes. She owns two homes. Wow. And I'm like, damn. That is incredible. It, it, being a woman means that like all the things that we do for free on a daily basis, we could get paid for. Some mm -hmm. dude will pay for it. Yeah. Mm. Underwear, socks, pantyhose, clothing, anything. Yelling, really? saying, you pay, pay for me, you pig or something. Like, you know what I mean? Like anything. Too much. Yeah. Not into weird. it? Not into pay pig culture? Dave? No, I'm not into Neither. that. But I, I I, guess I, thanks for the wake up call on this OnlyFans You're welcome. Because I was thinking. <laughs> it's not going away. I was you thought it was as, just an, an opportunity for I, women? Uh, I was thinking of myself as a second chapter. Okay. <laughs> I would love be. that for you though. I would, would love you? to cat, like if we could just cat, like in the middle of the night, Wait. cam with Dave. <laughs> yeah. That would be sick. Dave's cam show. Yes. And just you sitting begrudgingly at your desk chair. No, just red eyes. Yeah. Like staring back in the darkness. But or especially millennials. You get a parent. Because associate with you with nighttime because we all watched Insomniac. So yeah, now you're going to be- a little person, right? Yeah. And then, so then now, now you're still in our homes again, but mm. we have families now, some of us. Ew. Well, I think that's uh, that's great. And to the fans out there, thanks for the support. But uh, <laughs> this OnlyFans thing, I don't know. I guess that I could totally see both sides of it now, you know? Right. Because I was like, when does this get funny? Because now it's all about this kind of like- porn, you know, kind of grab, you know, like a gold rush kind of thing. Sure, so yeah, when yeah. does it get funny? And I guess it'll never be like a TikTok. You know, people no. don't want to see that. I think, was, was OnlyFans ever meant to be anything other than sexual? Well, well according to them, it's not pornography. They've been doing they comedy. They keep going, it's an expression. They just, they just uh, produced comedy specials for like yes. a bunch of younger comics in New York just oh, did a right, series like of Whit them. Whitney did, Whitney Cummings did something with them. Well, she did like, I like think like roast. the roast. She did the roast. But yeah. like a younger comics, like, um, I think, uh, was it, I, there's two girls I like, mixed up. I'm not even name their names, but like, yeah, one of them uh, just did a, <clears throat> a special who's like kind of like an up and coming. Oh, cool. Like very. Oh, okay, so maybe they're trying to branch out on Instagram and TikTok. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. Well, you know what? Uh, hey, I'm, if a woman wanted I'm off to try new things, but let's face it, comedy is comedy. Am I right? Stick yes. to your guns. I agree. If a woman wanted to pay you for nudes, would you do it? No, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, why not? I wouldn't do it because you know what? First of all, that's just the beginning of it. Yeah, it's First, a gateway. It's it's nudes. gateway. <laughs> then I got to listen to her. Yeah. No. <laughs> then I got to read her screenplay. Damn. Then I got to give her feedback. Right, right. And she wants a punch she up. She wants notes on the notes. <laughs> she wants punch up now on these jokes. <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, um, let's face it. Uh, everybody loves when someone sends them a, a, a sexy pic, right? Of course, yeah. yeah. There you go. Although, like, with women, it's hard for guys. Like, uh, we don't want... Se uh, like, guys can get a sexy pic, but it takes a lot. I don't think they have the brain I think I can speak for, for you girls right now about this whole thing, then. You would like a, a, a good dick pic as long as it's not coming from your own house. Like, how did he get in there? <laughs> I like more body I gotta in change it too. the code. Yeah. No, you, you, like, wanna, you, you don't like more of an erotic, erotic uh, man. Just thing. like the dick isolated alone, it, just, I, it doesn't it matter. It doesn't do it for me. Yeah, but like, it tells the want, story. Yeah, but you wouldn't want to <laughs> see, you wouldn't, well, you wouldn't, well, maybe you would get around to just would. a pussy. Of just course. A, just really? a close up Why of the not? pussy? Yes. Then you could fantasize the other parts. Oh, <laughs> oh maybe that's the, maybe that's the uh, the thing that draws you in the most. Okay. Mm. Is that you can make it up and fill in the blanks. But I like vintage classic shots, like from <clears throat> the Playboy penthouse Like eras. 70s Bush. I love that. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think there's a sexy, I don't know if it's a filter or something like that, but you don't see much in these times. Yeah, right. 70s photo photography was very specific. Mm. And 70s Playboy specifically was very... Like yes. glossy. That was the last time you actually saw both sides of a, because then they stopped doing that. Like you never saw the back end of anybody anymore. It all became just this kind of like pictorial, like layout like that. You know? Yeah, I guess so. No, guess no, no arching, ass? nothing like that. Well, have you ever seen like really at the Museum of Sex? Uh, I went like, you know, 10 years ago and they had a uh, part of the exhibit was like really vintage I'm talking about like 1800s. Like we just oh wow, people lifting their petticoat up. Yes, have you seen that? I thought that was. I've seen that. Yes, that was porn or that was pornographic. Yeah, Whoa. well, because I mean, lifting their petticoat up and like you're, but you see Bush. And they Whoa. have that thing that, that yeah that thing where you can move it and it's, it's some women naked. Yeah. Oh right, right, right. Mm. It's, it's like I mean, just historically, it's always been interesting for us to see naked women. Honestly, well, yeah. I love. I talk about it all the time. Do you, do you know Sydney Sweeney is? 
Uh, her so tits. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Her she's great. boobies. <laughs> she, she, and I'm straight. She, oh, like, what did you like her about her acting day? <laughs> no, no. I, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> but I've never seen that. Show. Perfect. Her her breasts <laughs> put me in a good mood. Yeah. She's That's how good they are. Yeah. She's. But her tits. And I'm like, I totally get how like that. I am how. Uh, how I feel towards Sydney Sweeney's boobies are how, I guess, how men feel, straight men feel towards breasts in general. Towards but I'm Sydney like, Sweeney's mm. boobies. They make my day, yeah, obviously. <laughs> they make my day better. Really? What part of a woman do you like the best? I, I think everything you're saying is good. And I think that she really is. <laughs> she, but what I part remember reading, she said, she said when she was younger, she felt like self-conscious and that she's so glad that she, you know, like lived up to Stuck her. Stuck with them? Yeah, like, I mean, honestly. She so. leaned into the tits? But for a while there, it was like more of a, people wanted more of a, um, op- what is it called? Like where, like no curves. Like a skinny, like, oh, yeah, like in the 80s. Yeah. And that, yeah. that weird, like uh, that kind of yeah. thing. But I always held out for the boobs, you know? Yeah. But I don't like, a, I'm not like a big uh, bedanka dunk, you know, no? like a big butt. Like yeah. I'm not that guy. Yeah. And I always see those people on how comfortable they are with their butts. Like they're right. everywhere. Yeah. It's like almost like, you know, you know, the butt is in a, another person that somehow is attached to them, and it's <laughs> right, everywhere. It's their entity. And you're like, wow. I have really- seen a lot of fake butts now, and I, and I used to never see them, or maybe I couldn't tell, but now right. I'm like, oh, I could tell. BBL. That looks fake as hell. Mm. Uh, which, you know, whatever. But a lot of guys are into that. I guess so. Yeah. But it looks- A butt man. A, a butt man. Yeah. My yeah. butt's real, though. Yeah, mine too. Mm. Do you so have, what about, did you what get what any work done? No, not yet. I'm thinking of um, <laughs> getting my knee done. I had my shoulder done. <laughs> These were like, had to do, but- yeah, I'm too old for a nose effect. job. I think it's going to have to be what it is. That'd be hilarious if you just got a nose job in like your <laughs> Well, I was 50s. thinking for my mom with that dementia, wouldn't it be great? She comes out, she's got a new rack. Oh. Wouldn't it be great? Like, ah, oh, oh, now look who can talk. I like you know? that. Then she'd be like, oh, well, I got to get out look there. Look who's talking. You know? Treat her. Yeah. Treat her. <laughs> Where did these come from? <laughs> mom, you're a dime piece. We got to go to the town. <laughs> that is true. That, I, I love that. That's mom, like a good rom-com. Mom, you're every man's dream. You can't remember their name. <laughs> this is good. I think it hits on a lot of things that we need to talk about. We dementia did. taking uh, taking care of older women. Um, you and know, boobs. And boobs. And boobies yeah. and butts. This is beautiful. Mm. Did you th- ever think about getting a nose job? Really? Never. Really? Oh, okay. I, could, I was ugly as a boy and I'm ugly as a man. <laughs> and I dealt with it years ago. I'm bald. I'm ugly. I'm Wait, short. Uh, how does one deal with how, Did you actually deal with it? Like, did you go to therapy or something? No, but you back then the world told you what you were. And you either dealt with it. <laughs> okay. Or you drank yourself Or you to killed death. yourself. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Wow. But now it's the in, card in, this, you're dealt. in the wellness world of, uh, you know, all the wellness, of course, you can't even think about that, you know. It is annoying that you can't say anything disparaging about yourself. It's like, uh, let, let me, me live. have fun. Let me live. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm I'll very, I'm very, I've made peace with it. Fine. Like, <laughs> like when I was 15. Like, when you were 15? Yeah. I'm never going to be, uh, who was a big actor at the time? Tom Leaf Carey's? Garrett. Oh, right. I, don't okay. I don't know who that is. <laughs> So, and anyway. you're fine, and, and then you just decided to tell jokes. No, I, I, this was not my dream to be a comic. Really? No, what was your dream? I, back then, I didn't think this was my job. I was like, this is something I'm doing before I get a real job. You know, that's oh. what I thought. You know, I thought I was going to join the Navy. I had oh. other jobs. I had all these different things going on, and I kept giving myself another year, another year, another year, and then like you know, I did open mics forever, but I had day jobs the whole way through. Right. Whereas that's pretty amazing with these comics now, where they can monetize. Their clips or something like that, so they never have a day job. Yeah, so that's pretty. That's they can pretty just work cool. On comedy. You know, so then, then you were just so undeniably good that you had to be a comedian. No, I was not good. I was not good for a long, long time. But you, but and you I kept giving yourself. This podcast yourself. has been proof of it. I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think, uh, I don't think, you know, I didn't feel comfortable doing it for the first seven, six, seven years doing it. You know, yeah. with every, I every wish show more was people a struggle. felt that way, Dave. I know. Uh, Some well, that's the, that's one thing. I've never seen people that. more comfortable <laughs> shooting doing comedy. Special under under three years into the game, I'm like, wow, 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 I mean, wow, wow, wow. Wait, I guess, let's roll the Love Fur documentary. Mm, <laughs> I think if you what, have, what are you doing? No, no, no. Wait, no. Do you remember he like loves one of my very close friends and he makes fun of himself, but he like it was like three years into comedy and he made like a documentary about his, his life in in comedy. <laughs> no way. Are you serious? Yeah, he. Uh, now that he's older, he just did an episode of his podcast roasting it. But like he That's was, hilarious. it was very serious at the debut. Oh. Sure. <laughs> but but these people have every set now on tape, which is like sure. kind of terrifying if you think about it. Yeah. You know, if but, it leaks. Well, no, just just the, I also, think they like, put them right up jokes. on the web right away, and then like yeah. even even their crowd work sets are up there now. So so there's really no like oh I don't remember that one. It's like they're all up there. You right. know, it's yeah. like it's pretty amazing. I wouldn't do that. You know. 
I was terrible for so long and I'm still terrible pretty much every other time. So Day, I like to, I like time. to think that like, you know, each one is like, you know, you're training for the next one, you know? Have um, you ever done a show and you thought I was good? I wouldn't say that. I would say there's always like that, like, man, I wish I had told this one or like, man, that crowd was really good and I had them and I should have taken this, you know? And then, you know, sometimes I always cowered out where it's like, I really wanted to tell that joke and, and I was didn't. like afraid, right, you know, yeah. with the filter up, that kind of thing. Sure. But yeah, no, I, I like when I do the job. And I also, to be honest, as an old, unrelevant person, following some of the new people, you know, it's really kind of, you know, it, 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 it it's really like to see if I can do it, you know? Cause at some mm. point, you know, it's just like, you know, we. The, you could see it in the eyes of the young crowd. Like, I think we've been here too long. They're letting up everyone now. You know, like that kind of thing. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> you know Fuck. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Fuck. Um, when do you feel sexy? What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I do I feel sexy? I want to give you a curveball. Do guys really do that? I feel I, very sexy tonight. I like asking I men that question. guys go right to horny. Don't they? they? A lot of them do. Yeah. But sometimes they'll, they'll, they'll give a various answers. But yeah, they're, they're, it's, they're never expecting that question. Because well, men don't get asked that. Well, I never, um, I guess when I'm doing a pull-up, like, wow, I'm really like, you know, watch out, ladies. Are you doing a lot of pull-ups? I'm trying. Yeah? Really? Yeah, I had Good a shoulder injury. Now I'm trying to, like, oh, build the strength shit. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To hold that muscle. baby that you're going to have. Yes. Oh, my son. <laughs> or or to hang off a ledge somewhere as yeah. the cops try and talk me down. But I was going to say. Or that, yes. So guys feel sexy? Like, well, I guess. Yeah, usually. I bet you I know what kind of guy it is, too. It's the guy who wears shoes with no socks. That guy has mm, to feel that oh, way. Like, yes. I feel a little sexy, but I also have, like, a, like a stomach issue today. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's that guy. Yeah, or also like when they're they feel sexy when they're doing their job well, uh, really? like for comedy, yeah, or providing yeah, or making money. I think that your uh, <coughs> your guy is sexy and he's a musician, so that's the double whammy. Oh yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, yeah. I never asked him when he feels sexy because I just know because mm -hmm. I can tell. <laughs> it's like he's when sexy the, is part of his. He art. has both. He has both things. Go. It's like you know, I met a guy. He's really tall, but he's a magician. Oh, okay. Well, that takes <laughs> inches off of him. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. So that's what I think. I don't know. I, I do know one thing, like when I get off the, cause I don't usually tug one out on the road, you know, no? I, I pretty much really yeah, keep it, keep it all, you know, like keep the game face going, you know, oh. like a fight. Wow. And it's also being <laughs> old. But then when oh. I get home, I'm like, I can't wait to like just rub one out. Seriously. Really? Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's like sleep in more, my own bed. More fun in a hotel, though. No. Mm, not for eh. the maid, it isn't. <laughs> no. And, and depending on the smells, I'm very sensitive to smells. The you hotel are. Smells weird. I'm like, I can't. I can't are there a lot I of weird smelly hotels? You know, like shittier hotels. Oh. Yeah. I feel like every like a hotel. Mist, a mustiness. You gotta, you gotta go a to a Kimpton. They smell nice. Yeah. Kimpton smell fucking. Kimpton. They have a scent. They have a scent. The scent signature scent in the hallway. Really? I don't like when like when you go into a casino and they have that like weird cover smell for everyone's sadness no, and, the <laughs> and odors. <laughs> no, that's like an incense. No, the, the Kimpton yeah. has like a citrusy something like in the hallways that's nice, but not overly mm. perfumey. Do they also have a, in the lobby a jug of water with oranges Lemon. and lemons Probably in there? Yeah. Like Cucumber. some kind of weird thing And they thing love in there. dogs and they'll give you Apples. a dog bed because like, you know, on the road and you'll know this when you adopt a dog, yes. which is going to happen soon. I'll help I want you. It. Yes. Um, is, uh, yeah, like there's dog friendly and then there's like we put up with your dog both you know both say they accept pets but like kimpton they give you a dog bed yeah, a they're bowl, happy to see they give dog. you a little treat some other places uh, are just like sign this form and i don't want to see this thing yeah. and put a, a sign on your door that says i have a dog in here so our staff doesn't have to deal with your dog wow that's yeah. not nice i don't like that they give him his own little bed mm -hmm. oh that's cute very yeah. cute little mat and it's little he has and a little can, uh, night can, mask oh so my god <laughs> you could dress your Great dog idea. in a black hoodie oh uh, yes with some, with some oh. green khakis that would be awesome yes black cap oh this is really cute the first dog hotel i ever saw was in Portland, Oregon, where they had like a little bowl there and some treats mm. That's and everything. Fun. I'm sure that place is burnt to the ground by now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> They're like, you're going to give the dogs a fucking place I'm sure to live? That, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, this is great. So you're you know, special. Yeah, my special is uh, called Hot Cross Buns. And um, you'll, um, I think it'll, I think it's got a little something for everybody in it. <laughs> yeah. A lot of jokes, a lot okay. of tricks. And um, oh. I wanted it to be short. Now, let, I want to hear your opinion on okay. this. I feel like the hour is too long for the audience now. I agree. I agree. And I watch the specials. I'm a comic. I'm supposed to, like, enjoy every second of watching someone 
perform their craft. I'm also like, this is a long special. Yeah, like, yeah. I can't believe it. Like, I, I need a break. Yeah. And this person's killing, you know, and I need a break. So I felt for the audience. And so I wanted it to be like 37 minutes. Yeah. And I thought I was like way ahead of the game because a lot of people have done them in their 30, like 30 minutes. So now I think everybody's doing it also like a little a little tighter, which is good for the audience. Good, yeah. But now I'm always, I wish I did it for only 30 minutes. That would have been even better. Yeah. I think 30 minutes is a sweet spot. Well, just yeah. keep yeah. thinking about more. that. Just keep thinking about that tonight. They have special. Yeah, just yeah. keep thinking about how you fucked up and it's seven minutes too long and you're well, a failure. No. It, could be, it could be like 37 minutes too long. It depends what the audience thinks. <laughs> like, you know, we'll be the if judge it of that. sucks, it doesn't matter how short it is. Yeah, you know? true. No. But I, I, I think there's a lot of great... Um, uh, I did it at Cobbs in San Francisco, one of my most oh, favorite yeah. clubs. I love, club. I love that club. And the staff there is awesome. And the guy who is really like the hero of the show is the director, Scott Gallick, really, really fun guy. Yeah. And he got, he gets me. And, you know, I, I feel like he did right by me. We only shot two shows. There was a few technical problems, of course, but you know, the majority of it is, is pretty much what I do. You've seen it. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I'm, I'm just hoping, you know, like the people enjoy it. Like there's a lot of comedy fans out there and you guys, of yeah. course, thanks for the help on promotion. Oh and to God, your fans, course. honestly, we love like, talking to you guys, but it's really seeing you at the live show. So, yeah. you know, at your dates, that's really where it's like the real synergy happens. So absolutely. See how I promoted you guys there. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, <laughs> we, you. We've managed to train our listeners to be like incredible comedy audience members. Like Great. really, truly like the first yeah. time we went on the road, there was a lot of rhetorical question asking on our part. And then people- A lot of throwing like, up in the aisles. Yeah, a lot really? of drug usage. And we had to have a come to Jesus moment with our listeners a couple of times. And we're like, this Shut is how down. you behave at shows. But then it's cool because then we'll have comics on the show. I'm like, oh my God, your fans came to my show in Oklahoma. Yeah. And I'm like, yes. Yeah, that's love great. That. It's wonderful. So thank and we you. love that. Thank you for doing that. Of yeah. course. Could well, we do some pictures? Yeah, thank absolutely. You. Right. Tasteful. Yeah. Tasteful. Oh, All right. Fine. This has been Guys We Fucked, the anti-slut shaming podcast. We'll talk to you next Friday. 